everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The two amigos are back. We are back right here on Wrestling Rampage as Pops is uh, doing some stuff. We're going to be getting right into this as we continue on with the 2007 year as we try to get through this shit yeah. as quickly as possible. Uh, because uh, you guys can cast your guys' votes. If you guys want us to do, because uh, we're almost done with 2007. Yes. Yeah, you, you got your pick of WWF 2001 or WWF slash WWE 2002. Yeah, those are the only two you can vote on, 2001 or 2002. And uh, pretty much when we get done with 2007, we will announce which one got the most votes, and we will do every pay-per-view from that year. Yeah. And the one that lost is going to get <laughs> done yeah. after that. Yeah. So, uh, uh, as we get into it, this is WWE No Mercy yep, 2007. No Mercy 2007. Uh, this is the DVD review, October 7th, 2007. It is a Raw Smackdown ECW pay-per-view sponsored by AT&T Collect Calls. Yep. Uh, uh, but uh, the theme song is a remix of the... the no uh, Mercy theme. Yeah, the No Mercy theme. It goes, No Mercy! No Mercy on the soul! You know that garbage thing? And it's and it's, uh, and it's it's done by Jim Johnston. Yeah, Jim Johnston, who got, who got shit came. <laughs> yes, he did. I'm telling the truth. Uh, we're at the All-State Arena in... Beautiful Chicago, Illinois. Beautiful Chicago, Illinois. Uh, the dark match for this uh, show was Hardcore Holly. Hardcore Holly. Take it on Cody Rhodes. Well, we know who's going over in that. It's going to be Hardcore Holly. And he did. And Hardcore Holly, we'll just say he probably did the fucking Alabama Slam. One, two, three, and that's the end of that. No doubt. As we get into the first thing that happens on the pay-per-view, Vince McMahon comes out and he rewards Randy Orton with the WWE Championship. Yep. Now, as, uh, if you guys don't know, John Cena got injured. He tore his pectoral muscle off his shoulder. Yep. And uh, he, uh, in, a, in a match with Mr. Kennedy on Raw. Yep. Uh, and Randy Orton RKO'd him. On the table. On the table. And you want to tell you what I enjoyed most? Hmm. All right, the crowd was cheering. Did you see the sign that says Cena don't come back? Yes, I did. <laughs> it was fucking funny. Like, I was well, laughing my ass off when I saw that fucking sign. Someone had a sign that said Cena don't come back. Yeah. <laughs> Cena don't come back. It was fucking hilarious. Uh, and uh, pretty much he, he rewards uh, Randy Orton with the WWE Championship. No, no, no match or nothing. No, nope, he, he, he just gets handed the WWE Championship, praying around. There goes the fireworks, sparklers, and all that fancy crap. And then who comes out, Tommy? It's all about the game and, and how you play it. Yeah, the game, Triple H, here he comes. The tri uh, Triple H comes out and, and, he's, and he's talking about how uh, how Vince has no balls. Yep, and, and his the... balls are raisins. And, <laughs> and fucking Vince, you got your match. It's on. You got your... Give me a fucking referee. Get this out of here. <laughs> and he gets the goddamn fucking towel Podium. out of there and, and, and the fucking pink towel. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's out there on the ground. Yeah, it's out there on the list. ground all through the match. But uh, Triple H pretty much goats Vince into a WWE Championship match. And he goes, well, you know what? We're having the WWE Championship match right here, right now. It is for the WWE Championship. We get Randy Orton, the champion. He's going to be taking on Triple H. Uh, this match was okay. You know, you were thinking with a WWE Championship match and the caliber of Orton and, and Triple H that, that this would be a lot better better of a match. Yeah. Now find find out later we know yeah. we know why. Yeah, we know why. But nonetheless, uh, it was okay. It, it was okay. You know, it didn't set the world on fire. Yeah. And uh, you know, this is one of the rare times that you see the WWE Championship defended uh, in the first match. In the first match. It, it hasn't happened very often. Um and uh, Orton crotches uh Triple H on the rope and uh <laughs> he attempts to run. Yeah, Randy Orton runs, shoulder hits, oof <laughs> it's the ring post. Triple H rolls him up into a schoolboy. One, two, three. Does a little bump like this when he gets off of him. Pose the WWE Championship like this, and he's the new WWE Champion. Did you see the guy? Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Front, that's a schmuck <laughs> in a white shirt and red collar. He's crying like a little pussy. Yeah, he started crying because Orton lost the belt. <laughs> You're like a fucking. You could tell he. You could tell he takes dicks. <laughs> But nonetheless, nonetheless, new WWE, you make me laugh, new WWE champion, Triple H, nonetheless, 
uh, as we get into the next uh, match, which is a added match. And they, An added <laughs> six-man tag. And Lillian even says it. Yep. It's a six-man tag match when you see the Intercontinental Champion Jeff Hardy team up with Paul London and yeah. Brian Kendrick to take on um, Kata Murdoch, the uh, World Tag Team Champions, and their partner, the guy who put John Cena on the shelf, and we're not talking about Randy, we're talking about Mr. Kennedy. Yeah, Mr. Kennedy. He's the one who did it. Yes. He put him on the shelf. And that's what it was, right? Yeah. <laughs> As we get into the match, right? Yeah, let's get into it. What do you think about it? It was actually a good six-man tag. It, 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 it was good. Um, not great, but good. Yeah, it was uh, good. It was a good six-man tag between uh, Jeff Hardy, Paul Lennon, Brian Kennedy versus Kennedy and Kate Murdoch. It was good. But uh, uh, London gets uh, lost his footing on the rope when he gets knocked off. Yep, um, and Mr. Kennedy does the green blade plunge on Paul London. One, two, three, and Brian Kendrick didn't make the save. Yeah, Brian Kendrick came in at like two, and he already did three. Yeah. And Brian Kendrick slides in the yeah. ring. <laughs> he didn't make it. Uh, so the winners is Mr. Kennedy, the perfect partner for Kate and Murdoch. Yep. The World Tag Team Champions. That's right. Uh, next match on the card is for the ECW Championship when we see the hometown hero, the champ. CM Punk. Yeah, Chicago, Illinois own CM Punk comes out to a big pop. Big pop. He did. He did. He got a huge pop. And then here comes his opponent. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. <laughs> big <laughs> Daddy V with fucking paint pillin' Matt Stryker. Calling all cars. And, and the crowd was mild after that. <laughs> they were mild. You know, you know, you get a big pop when you see CM Punk. And they still get pops and we get yeah. tired of here. CM Punk. Yeah, CM every time they, fuck you, Chicago. Every time, every time WWE goes to fucking Chicago, we hear CM Punk chants. The motherfucker's not coming back. Get off his fucking his fucking Pepsi tattooed nuts. He's not coming back, okay? Get over yourself. Like, yeah. give me a fucking break. I, it's like Chicago has nothing to cheer for. Well, they don't. No, <laughs> of course they don't. But still. But still. So shut the fuck up and shut up and fucking... And fucking enjoy your fucking life. Goddamn, eat your goddamn fucking snow or whatever the fuck you eat in goddamn Chicago. Shut the fuck well, up. Well, not only that, but Tommy, this match was... This match was bad. Yeah, this match was bad. This was tar terrible. Fucking uh, awful. You know, you can't put all the blame on CM Punk that you can Big Daddy V. But, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Punk ends up, because uh, uh, he, he, he's about to do... Uh, Big Daddy V hits him in the corner. He's about to do a splash. Uh... Punk moves from the splash, gets on the rope, does a missile drop kick. Yep. Knocks Big Daddy V and down. down goes Big Daddy V. And Matt Stryker, with his fucking buzz cut hair, what the fuck hair? It looked like, you know a fucking mo with three suits? That's what fucking Matt Stryker's hair looked like. It did. And here he comes, fucking hits goddamn fucking CM Punk and Big Daddy V. He goes, am I disqualified, boss? <laughs> <laughs> no, it did. Uh, and fuck it, and fuck it, fuck it, Big Daddy V does a Samoan drop on CM Punk, three elbow drops, fucking holds the fucking ECW championship, and you see, and you see the sign, put your shirt on or some shit. Yeah. And, uh. Call all cars. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and he fucking throws the belt down and leaves, and Matt Striker goes, look what you did to him. Look what, yeah, we know you, we know you can't do nothing there, Matt Striker, can you? But you're fucking, that's, that, that's why you were a washed up has-been that couldn't make it. Well, see, I want to know, first of all, why the hell do, like, why the hell would Matt Stryker interfere in this match? I think Big Daddy V could have handled it. Yeah, I don't know. He's a fucking idiot. I don't fucking know. But nonetheless. And, 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 and then fucking, then fucking CM Punk's bleeding at the mouth, and fucking he gets carried out by a couple of referees, and that's the end of that. And he gets carried out by a couple of referees, but CM Punk is still the ECW World Heavyweight Champion uh, by his qualification. Yeah. Uh, you know, the match, uh, it was hard to watch, guys. Yeah, it was. Uh, next one is, uh, it's not really a match, but it's a challenge. Yeah, a challenge. How many times have we seen these fucking challenges? For goddamn months. For fucking months. I saw With Tim, Punk I saw Tim yes. weeks ago. I'm like, God damn. When, uh, w w uh, you know, between Matt Hardy and MVP. I was like, damn! Um, as you guys know, they had the boxing, they had the, they had fucking, the, fucking, the fucking beer drinking, they had fucking, fucking arm wrestling, had fucking boxing, had fucking basketball. Had fucking basketball. I, I'm, I'm surprised they didn't have a dance-off competition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
They could have the redneck triathlon. They, they could have had that too. Goddamn! But nonetheless, this is a. They're in Chicago, so they're yep. gonna they're gonna have a deep dish pizza eating contest. Yeah, here comes MVP in his white jogging pants and his white <laughs> jogging suit. Here he comes down. He goes, I ain't, I'm not good enough to be on no mercy to defend the U.S. title. So, so we would. And by the way, they're still. Yeah. They're still WWE Tag Team Champions, and yeah. also MVP still the yeah. USA. So he comes out, and then here comes Matt Hardy in the same shirt that Jeff wore. <laughs> yeah, well, I he think he out. stole it from Jeff. He's like, Jeff, can I borrow that shirt now? Yes. You know, I think it was the only Hardy shirt they had. <laughs> and fucking here he comes, and fucking Maria's doing the goddamn fucking Matt Hardy's goddamn score, and fucking Melina's doing fucking MVP score. As Taz is the host. As Taz is the host. He goes, I've never seen pizza. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, Taz? How stupid you are. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like, he's like I've never that's seen a thick ass crust, man. I've never seen crust like that. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, Taz? God damn, shut the fuck up. Are, are you, you from fucking Brooklyn or the Bronx? Yeah, are you from the Brooklyn or the Bronx? You know, you said you went to the coach's office and it did not look like this. Yo, can I have some money? Can I some money? You know, you should, you, you should know how how Pete's look, dumbass. But uh, pretty much, uh, this was boring and uh, this was stupid. It was meaningless. It shouldn't even been on the fucking pay per view. And uh, Matt Hardy pretty much gobbles down two slices and yeah, in, in, well, in, of course, of course, you know why? Uh, he, he had he's that pudgy hardy. Yeah, he's pudgy hardy too. <laughs> he's pudgy. He's pudgy hardy. Yeah, yeah, he's pudgy but, fucking hardy. But nonetheless, uh, uh, he, he he eats two slices of pizza. They only have two minutes. Thank God. Yeah, thank uh, God. It's just two minutes. <laughs> Uh, he eats I don't two think pieces. I can last two minutes more for that fucking, sh fucking shit. Uh, the eating contest? Yeah, fuck that. Uh, he eats two slices of MVP. And smatter in claps. Come on, Matt! <laughs> Matt doing a fucking Robbie E. You seen him? Yeah, <laughs> fucking stupid shit. Uh, and pretty much at the end, uh, Matt Hardy blows chunks on Yeah, uh, fucking, you know how on much MVP. that fucking jogging suit cost MVP? Those bucks. are a lot of fucking money. <laughs> 50 bucks? Yeah, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, so Matt Hardy wins the 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 eating the pizza eating contest. Uh, no one cared. Yeah, no one fucking cared. Uh, as we get into this match now, this was made earlier in the night when Triple H was in the back talking to Batista for some odd reason. Uh, he turns yeah. around, there's Vince, and uh, Vince, Vince goes, You're right, I give people what they want. And I scheduled you against a MAGA, and you're defending the WWE Championship. Like, well, uh, okay. So, we get to see Triple H wrestle for the second time. Yep. WWE Championship match when Triple H, the champion, who just won it from Orton earlier yep. in the show, is going to be taking on the Samoan Bulldozer. Or, in Mike Adley's case, the Bulldog, Umaga. Yeah, this match was okay. Yeah, it didn't really... I'm, I'm telling you, man, uh, this... This pay-per-view uh, was, was hard to watch. It, it was really hard to watch, guys. Um, you know, I'm, I'm glad I only paid like four bucks for yeah. this DVD. But <laughs> yeah, uh, it was really hard to watch. Um, uh, Umaga misses the ass bump. Yep. <laughs> Touches the back like this. Yeah. Uh, miss. Uh, he misses the splash and uh, hits the ring post with his head. Yep. Triple H checks Umaga's pedigree. <laughs> One, two, three, and Triple H retains the WWE Championship over Umaga. Yes, uh, pretty, uh, pretty okay match. Yeah, just, just okay. Not that stellar. Um, then we see a match between <laughs> the man who likes to fight fiddly. He's going to be taking on Ray Mastriel. Yeah, you know what the <laughs> funny thing is? What? I saw a sign, Mysterio still sucks. Yes, I did see it. <laughs> so it has a sign that says Mysterio still sucks. Yes. And yeah. this was an okay match until the ending. Yeah, until the ending. Uh, you know, wait, you were thinking, you know, Ray could go. Finley, I know, could go. Yeah. And I was thinking, you know, this, this is going to be, be a good match. Yeah, yeah, you know, this is going to be a pretty good match. No. No. Uh, pretty much, uh, Rey Mysterio does does the leg drop because Finley's on the outside yep. of the apron, and he has his head in into where the rope is, and uh, Rey does the leg drop, drop the dime, yep. as, and as, fucking, as, and as fucking, Cole says. Yeah, and Finley fucking falls over, hits his head on the on the concrete floor, and he's knocked out. And fucking referee, are you okay, Finley? Finley, and he wakes up. Yeah, I'm okay, boss. Thank yeah. you. What the fuck's he doing here? Yeah. Fuck, he ain't hurt. Yeah, he ain't hurt. Fuck, he because, ain't hurt. Because you see Finley uh, look at him, he went, yeah. and then he went but back he down like hurt. this. 
Right, so they bring out the fucking stretcher, and the fucking... Mysterio showing sympathy, and then fucking Finley comes, he's got the fucking neck collar on him, and fucking beats up fucking, fucking, uh, Ray Mysterio after, slaps him with the neck collar, <laughs> fucking beats the shit out of him, and then fucking leaves. Yep. So, well, that was a shitty fucking So, so uh, not con no contest yeah, so, on that, man. So it ends in a no contest, pretty shitty ending, you know, fucking, fucking Finley gets carried out on the stretcher, pretty much where the, where the fucking... The, the ramp is and just beats the shit out of Rey Mysterio. Uh, and I was like, oh, well, okay. Whatever. No contest. So nobody cared who won and who lost, but uh, as we get into the next <laughs> next match, because well, this, this is a pretty depressing yeah. fucking pay per view. Uh, next match is actually a rematch from Unforgiven. Yeah. Um, it's for the WWE Women's Championship when the champion... Get get your hands up! Oh, and there was some hands up. At this uh, one. Oh yeah, because because I don't forgive nobody put their yeah, hands up. Yeah, and I felt sorry for. Her. Uh, Candice Michelle is the champion. She's going to be taking on the Glamazon Beth Phoenix. This match was boring. It was pretty boring. Uh, and uh, Beth Phoenix hits hits a backbreaker on Candice Michelle, gets her in a cradle suplex, drills her one two three, and uh, Beth Phoenix is the new WWE Women's Champion. She's the new WWE Women's and Champion. And Jerry Lawler interviews her, and he sa she says, uh, this, "This is the year of the Glamazon," and that's about it. Yeah, this is uh, you know uh, Vince says that there's uh, that there's going to be history made, and there is new history as the era of the Glamazon uh, pretty much goes yeah. on after this. And I was like, okay, whatever. Uh, it, it was good to see Beth yeah. win the championship because uh, you know. Candace. I mean, even though she was, she was, she tried her best. Yeah. She wasn't that good of a champion. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Beth Phoenix is the new WWE Women's Champion, and it was pretty sad because yeah, it was. Uh, uh, this. And the reason why I was sad was because there was silence, um, and and that's the worst thing you yeah. can have at a wrestling show is silence. Yeah. Uh, because this this is what happens. People can hate you, so they can boo the shit out of you and scream shit. Or they can like you and cheer you and everything else. If you go to a show and it's dead silence, you fucking suck. Yeah, I should know. Yeah, yeah, we know. We went to a silent show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go to a couple silent fucking shows, uh, and it was pretty sad because I mean, uh, Beth Phoenix is a good wrestler. Yeah. Uh, and then we get to one of Tommy's favorite matches. Here we go. This is a Punjabi prison match. <clears throat> for the World Heavyweight Championship with the champion, Batista Man. Charles Reed Fowler's favorite wrestler. <laughs> yep. Next to Luther Reigns. <laughs> Next to Luther Wheelchair Pushing Reigns is Batista Man. He's going to be taking on one of your favorite World Heavyweight Champions of all time, the great Kali. This motherfucking match sucked. Yes, sir. This fucking sucked. It was hard to sit through this son of a bitch. Like, the crowd was dead as shit during this match. And fucking... And before the goddamn thing, did you see Great Collie sitting? On your night. Yeah. On the night. He was doing some meditation in the... On the night. Doing shit like that, like a fucking idiot with his fucking big-ass fucking Sergeant Slaughter chin sticking out. Yes. His fucking chisel chin. <laughs> that chisel chin fuck. Okay? This motherfucker is fucking ignorant. Yeah, I know. He's fucking stupid. And then there's Roger sitting. <laughs> and there's Kali Sindaba. Kali. No, you know what he's saying. He, you know what Kali Sindaba means. Kali Jabber Er. Kali Jabber Er. That's what he's saying in, in fucking India or whatever. And, and pretty much, as you guys know, the doors close after one minute. All yeah. four fucking doors yeah, close. All four fucking doors close. And fucking Kali's climbing the goddamn with his fucking tree trunk fucking, fucking pencil drawn legs. <laughs> Here he comes. He's climbing, he's climbing, Batista just jumps over the other one. And he's still going climbing. He's slow as fucking fuck. I think it's that big ass fucking chisel chin he's got. Slowed him down. And fucking, and fucking he's climbing and Batista just drops. I was like, look, you could have been out of there a long time ago with your big fat ass. Yeah, it's pretty bad, man. You could have been out of there with your butt, with your fucking big, tall, lanky, fucking chisel chin, fucking three bullet in your chest ass. <laughs> It was pretty sad to see how slow fucking Kali was getting down this to the fucking cage, man. This match and was then, fucking awful. You know, he gets he gets out the first one. He starts on the second one. Batista jumps from the first one to the second one, 
instead of getting down and climbing back yeah. up like 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 uh, Kali did, and they're both they both get over at the same time. Batista just crawls down and really fast compared to fucking Kali. With Going fucking, slower than fucking Methuselah here, like this, and I was like, what the fuck? Well, no wonder you didn't fucking win, Chisel <laughs> Chin. He was pissed off. So well, no wonder you won. You, you fucking lost. You fucking Chisel Chin, long hair fuck, because you couldn't fucking move. So Batista is still you move your ass. <laughs> Batista is still the world heavyweight champion. Fuck this match. As uh, as as, as nobody can hear what he says in his head or, or however yeah, his fucking song, song goes. Is. Fuck Batista and fuck Holly. This match sucked. <laughs> it sucked ass, guys. Uh, and the main event of WWE No Mercy 2007 is a last man standing match. Now this came about when... Uh, Vince congratulated Triple H on winning, yeah. and he goes, well, it tonight's goes, well, over. Randy Orton is invoking his rematch for tonight. It's going to be a last man standing. Yeah. Yeah. So we get to see fucking Triple H wrestle fucking three, three times. times now. Three fucking times. Three times. And we see Orton wrestle fucking twice. Yes. Guys, I'm not a big fan of I'm not a big fan of, of championships being defended three fucking times. Not only that, but... but and the same show. Uh, same show. It defended three fucking times. Also, having them fucking wrestle multiple times yeah. in the fucking pay review. I yeah. don't like that. I don't guys. like that shit. Uh, and I will say this. Um, this is for the last man... It's a last man standing match for the WWE Championship. And this was a great match. The ma uh, the champion, Triple H, is going to take it on the former champion that he won in the first match. Yep. Randy Orton. And this, was, and this was the best match on the card. This was the best match on the card. I see why when they did the first match, that was just okay. Yeah. Because the, the, this was the best match on the card. This was the best this, match on the card. Next to the six-man tag, which is sad. Which is sad. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Orton, uh, well, Orton attempts an RKO, but he goes through the ECW It's table. always the fucking ECW <laughs> announce table. Oh, this <laughs> hates ECW so much. Well, that's why you get one fucking match. Yeah, that's right. So we can destroy that table. That's why you got fucking CM Punk versus big shit ass Big Daddy V. Yeah. But nonetheless, uh, Orton attempts the RKO. Triple H shoves him off. He he falls through the ECW yep. cha uh, ECW t uh, table. Um, then he does an RKO on a uh, steel chair in the ring, busts Triple H open. Yep. Or Triple H blades. Yep, I should say. And fucking Triple H gets up, tells Orton to suck it. Yeah, he gets up there and he goes, suck. Uh, Orton uh, ends up trying to use the steel steps. Yep, and Triple H low blows him. His head's wedged in between the uh, steel steps. Triple H grabs the chair, rams his head with the steel steps with the chair, and Orton falls, collapsed down like a wet noodle. And uh, and Orton still gets up. Yeah, Orton gets up, and uh, they get onto the Raw table. Yep. And he does an RKO. And, uh, and Triple H didn't get up at the count of ten. No, he, he falls off the table. Yep. He's about to start getting up. But, but by, the time, hits 10, by the time ten hits, he's, he's, he's on his knees. Up. Yeah, and uh, so the new WWE champion is the legend killer, Randy Orton. I'll do Vince there. Like he As he kisses the belt. As he kisses the belt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Orton kisses the belt, uh, kisses, the, kisses the belt, holds up the belt. Walking we, back. Yeah. And fade to black WWE logo. That's right. Fade to black WWE logo. And that's the end of No Mercy 2007. Um, guys, this was a pretty shitty This was a pretty pay shitty fucking pay-per-view. The only two gems you're going to see in this whole fucking pay-per-view is that six-man tag added match. With the with Jeff Hardy, Paul London, Brian Kinder versus Lance K, Trevor Murdoch, and Mr. Kennedy, and the, the best match man. is the last man standing match for the WWE Championship. I mean, Triple it, H versus Randy Orton. Uh, the the OK matches Orton and Triple H in the beginning in the first match, and uh, Umaga uh, and Triple, Triple H. H. Yeah, uh, th those weren't stellar. They were just OK, and the rest of the card wasn't even worth it. Yeah. Um, the extras for this pay per view. Um, uh, on the discs are John Cena's uh, surgery package where he yep. got injured. Uh, he had the surgery and he'll be back in what, yep. what, what, what they say uh, six, six months six, to a year. Yeah, six months to a year. But as you guys know, it's a lie. Yep. He came back at Royal Rumble 2008. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we have a Batista's uh, Batista interview after his match with yep. the Great Khali. 
for the Punjabi prison match. He's that guy who called his rematch? We're done. Uh, of course you're done, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. No one will see that fucking match again. Thanks, Todd, and then he walks away. Yeah. <laughs> and then on Short Raw. Short for words, Charles, is your boy <laughs> Batista. Great promo. No doubt. And then on Raw, Mr. McMahon um, congratulates Randy Orton. Yep. Yes, or congratulates Randy Orton. He's up on a goddamn pedestal. All the Raw superstars, and Randy Orton goes, I want you to come down here and say good luck, champ. Yes. He, even fucking Hacksaw Jim Duggan's there. Yeah, and his blue shorts. Yeah, his blue shorts. And all the schmucks are there. And fucking Vince goes, where's Triple H? I don't care if you gotta get him on a gurney. I want his ass down here. I want his ass and down And then we hear Shawn Michaels. He's wearing the fucking deer vest. <laughs> He's wearing the cowboy hat. He's wearing the blue jeans. He's just, wearing the cowboy boots. Just, lo- just like he came back from shooting some deer. <laughs> and he's looking all serious. He now as you guys know, Randy Orton. Orton. And you know what the Randy Orton's what? face looked? He knew he fucked up. He knew he fucked up. <laughs> and, and fucking Sean's walking all slow and Orton's backing away. And Orton's trapped in by the ring and he rolls in the ring. Sean beats the shit out of him. Super kick. And I love how Randy Orton sold that super kick. <gasps> He goes down, he, he, he takes a super kick, he goes down, his chin's in the fucking canvas. Yeah, and Triple H, and fucking, and fucking Shawn Michaels throws the fucking belt outside, gets up on the pedestal and all this. Yeah. Uh, now as you guys know, uh, Randy Orton put in Shawn's head. And put, at, at, at Judgment Day. At Judgment Day, put out Shawn for a while, and now he's back, yep. so. That's pretty much the end of WWE No Mercy 2007. If you guys enjoyed this review, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestlingRampage2. Follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage. If you want to send something for Mailbag Monday, Mailbag Monday, you guys can always do that through the P.O. Box. Joseph Flat, F-L-A-T-T at P.O. Box 6005, Elizabeth, Kentucky, 42702. And don't forget to subscribe to one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today, Wrestling Rampage. Time to take it away. If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess you just don't.